Hey guys, another video of my oddball unboxings. Another dead TCG sort of operation. I'm sharing this one basically because I think it's something that will be of particular interest to uh, some of you because of the artist and the setting of this game. So, uh, if I could just get this open. I'm assuming I know what's in here, by the way. Might be in for a surprise. But, uh, okay. Let's toss that aside. Oof. This is older than some of the guys that play Magic with us, guys. <laughs> That's just the reality of it. Um... Well packaged, very nice. Okay, so I don't know if anyone of you can remember this, but uh, this is an old CCG called Blood Wars. It's actually set on Planescape, on the on the Planescape setting of um, Dungeons and Dragons. It was published by TSR, I think, right as they got scooped up by um, by Wizards of the Coast. And so, I believe all of the art on the cards is going to be by uh, Anthony Di Terlizzi. Uh, and it's probably reused from the source books and campaigns of which I understand there were plenty. But, uh, I think this game had one expansion again. And then Wizards scooped in and bought CSR and put an end to this and Spout Fire. <clears throat> But I'll just flip through here and get some of this fine Tony Dieterlizzi art on the camera. But uh, I don't know really much at all about how the game is played. There's very little on YouTube about it. Like many games of this era, it is uh, wickedly complicated and not made with uh, you know ease of play in mind at all. So that's pretty cool, huh? Um, I think a lot of games in this era also kind of took their cue from Magic. So despite the fact that things look different, when you get right down to it, a lot of them have the same Magic the Gathering resource system. I don't know that this is the case here. It looks like a lot of times they were using some of his sketches, huh? Um, maybe just to get this out the door. And um, so, yeah, I don't know. It's one of the games that uh, escaped me as a child, but the name always stuck in my head. And just... You would see in the ads back then the, the the shapes of the cards and these things always intrigued me like what what does uh what does any of this mean so hmm, the cards are upside down from here or not is this a new rarity one of the few things i did read is that actually again they were not very experienced back then very nice in how they sorted these cards at the printers so apparently this a situation where some of the commons are rarer than some rares um, well at least I saw that in a blurb somewhere I don't know how legitimate it is but uh, yeah, the art is pretty fantastic oh that's nice um, again these are pieces that maybe Alex you know or you've seen or one of you guys have seen that's cool but uh, yeah, unique feel, unique aesthetic. Wow, that's different. If anyone wants to be brave enough, uh, I'm told that, uh, again, like many 90s games, the instruction booklet is somewhat impenetrable. Um, and... Look, what is this table? Who knows? It's got some sort of weird ass table and rules for deck building. And look at look at all these icons. And again, they weren't afraid back then. Well, they trusted that they knew who their audience was. The audience was people who have been playing D and D or other complicated sort of war games. This predates the sort of mainstream designer board game world. Uh, so you know, again. There just wasn't a fear of being complicated, and that's why I like these old games. So, let me know what you guys think, or if anyone would be interested in giving this a shot with me. Uh, maybe I'll buy more, maybe I won't. Depends what I feel like after I actually read it. Blood Wars by TSR. 
Total Detail Easy or Planescape.